Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading, the Love Reading for the Aries Leo and <laughs> Sagittarius. Um, this is the Love Reading for the Aries, so I'm calling up in the Angels of Love, Archangel Zachiel, and all the Universal Angels of Love to come in, Mother Mary, and uh, um, uh, Venus, Venus, Plant of Love to come in. So what's here for... Uh, love for the Aries. What is here? Okay, it's all about family. Um, it's all about people want to connect with other people to um, have a family for the Aries in this month of May. In the first week, I'm seeing some of you traveling, you Aries, whatever is that then. You could be traveling to meet a twin flame or a soulmate, so that is good. And it's, this is someone from a past lifetime. It's as if you're reconnecting with this person from a past lifetime. So that is good. And we're going to be seeing who. Now, a past love is returning in your life, whatever the situation is. And you have had lived with this person, uh, married to this person in a past life. And this could be um, an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. But it could also be someone who's a business person or works in the legal field or doctor, lawyers, nurse, uh, mentor, people in authority figure. It is a karmatic situation you're going through, okay? Some of you are definitely going through a karmatic situation um, with open relationships. Some people are choosing open relationship, especially the mature women. You're definitely choosing to have an open relationship for whatever reason. And um, some of you mature women just want to form friendships, but um, not really that you want to be. Um, the Queen of Swords is also here. In, um, and there is a situation with a young female out there. You could be meeting a police or a fireman or something like that yeah it's all about children it's all about you Aries want to connect with someone and start a new family so it's as if you're looking for a relationship you're looking for the perfect mother or the perfect father for your kids the right person that is basically um, what this month is all about for you Aries so um, this is good so let's see what's coming up especially um for traveling um because the first week it's all about traveling first week some of you could be traveling um to meet up with your um soulmate okay um definitely um the energy of travel is here now um so whoever is going to be traveling to meet up with a soulmate you you know you're going to be you needed to find balance okay and why it's because it's not easy not living with someone and then seeing them after a while I have the night of one the night of ones however this night uh, you guys between the ages of uh, 18 to 45 definitely you're gonna be meeting as a, a twin flame or a soulmate some of you are going to be reconnecting with the Knight of Pentacles. Whoever this Knight of Pentacles is, whoever this Knight of Pentacles is, is a past love. Okay? It could be a man 45 years or older, that sort of a thing. But this first week is going to have an effect on the people between the ages of 18 and 45. So. It's all about returning or traveling to see a soulmate or a past love. So some of you could be traveling to see a soulmate. Some of you could be traveling to see a past love. What we're seeing is that there is definitely a tower moment that is coming. And there was a third party um, that is um, going to be out of your relationship. And you're going to be planning that this thing never happens to you again because really but there's a tower moment that is coming up in the first week um you're ending 
you found out about a third party in a relationship and you're ending this so there's definitely a tower moment that is coming up in the first week and as this tower moment comes up because you found out about this third party and you're ending this and as this tower moment comes up because the devil is in reverse you are going to be definitely planning to go forward and hoping that this will never ever happen again in your life because whatever had transpired is that you were you're like kicking yourself and said how couldn't I see this how couldn't I see this how couldn't I see this and it's like let it go now you see it and it has something to do with a soulmate now um, there is definitely no offers you or you you're not offering um, anyone anything I'm seeing some of you are dealing with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius man an older man no you are not offering anything you don't want anything you do not want to connect with this person you're definitely saying a huge no okay you're trying to balance in out things and definitely you're going to be balancing out things and you could be meeting a quite wealthy man um, some of you some of you could be meeting a quite wealthy man that is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn okay and this person is someone who's coming back from a past lifetime this man is quite wealthy you can see the energy around him riches abundance he himself is at a good place and he's going to be opening up for you as we look there is a death scene of a past life of relationship to come back in your life and it has something to do with someone who is in authority an authority figure or um someone with a powerful job um someone in the, um, the legality is um that sort of a thing but whoever you're destined to be in a relationship with this person okay and you are going to take that chance whatever the situation is you're definitely going to take that chance okay and as you take that chance whatever the conflicts and situation that was going on and whatever um, the trust and issues um, you're gonna take the chance but there's gonna be trust in issues okay this is a situation where some of you are really having trust in issues okay with, a, with 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 a past love you're definitely having trust in issues and it's as if you don't want to return to that cycle or that timeline in your life is is that you have been through it and it's as if you've met this person it's as if everything came flooding back to you what has transpired past life what is coming up i don't know but some of you is connecting with an Aquarius Gemini or Libra and 45 years and older now this person is your children's mother okay and it is that you guys have had a relationship in a past life had children the same thing and it's as if some of you walk away and now you're returning because it's as if you have to end this in the right you have to end this relationship in the right way and you're returning to this person you're gonna be having a new start with this person because you're returning to this person and you want to build a family with this person and you're asking for a new start with this person so I've seen some of you Capricorn ladies who are in same-sex relationship that you might be returning to an Aquarius Gemini or Libra woman uh, who you have met in a past lifetime so same-sex people have also kids so this is going to be one of the situation that you're giving it another try so whoever you are out there it you have to do this because the universe is guiding you to, to end a karma between you and this person in relationship and this is just for the same-sex people now for the men and women you could be returning to an ear sign or an earth sign okay um and and you need to to heal the situation so you yourself could move on as we look at who you're going to be meeting definitely um some of you are 
if you were single your life is about to change if you were in an open relationship your life is about to change because someone you're gonna be meeting someone that is going to definitely definitely bring a transition to your life some of you could be married and you're meeting someone that you are going to decide yeah this is what I want it's as if you met this person you realize this person's like um in you know having yeah some people are yeah hmm. okay I can't say crazy because I wouldn't do it but some people like to um, um, change their partner with you know other couples and that sort of a thing and definitely you're gonna realize that this is the relationship this is the sort of life I want to live but for how long because well some people can live that some people um, and it's as if you're in a relationship and then all of a sudden you connect with someone out of the blues and then you were invited someplace and this person take you and you realize that it's a club where a lot of partners and couples you know change each other and I'm seeing this happening in Georgia um, I'm seeing it in Georgia California LA I'm seeing it in the liberal European countries that this sort of a thing and then you're gonna be thinking oh my god no wonder I felt like this in my life because apparently this is what I need and definitely definitely um you're going to be receiving message of love but it is in the sense that some of you are going to be connecting with someone in the legalities and it could be a lawyer some of you could be connecting with the lawyer and um, maybe you're consulting a lawyer and you both are going to be falling in love with each other <laughs> but um, it's a karmatic situation it's not going to really work out but the lust is going to be there but it's not going to be working out all right there is definitely a karma clearing that is coming up in the third week and this karma clearing um, has to do with someone out there that has a relationship with a woman and and this is where this karma clearing is coming in so it's as if some of you your um, child's father or mother is going to be returning because they want to do some karma clearing with you but are you willing to do so no because you're blocking them you're saying no I, I I just don't I have had enough I have gone through so much with you I do not want to reopen this chapter of my life and you're going to be saying no it is okay but um <laughs> you're turning away the love of your life you're turning away um a potential uh marriage partner and i i i think you know you have no forgiveness for this person because it's as if I can't even remember how I got involved with you and why I got involved with you and how we even end up in bed that is what you're thinking but sadly and strange enough the people who hurts you the most are always the ones who love you yeah especially in relationship that is not in uh, in relationship and this person is really someone you have had married to in a past lifetime and they want to reopen that chapter and you're like hell no mm -mm, not happening bye <laughs> okay so let's look at the open relationship people who are having open relationship how is that you're definitely protecting yourself so some of you out there are having some open relationship and you're protecting yourself you're as if okay this is why I want to open a relationship because I don't want to be totally committed to one person because um, I don't know if you're the right person for me and you're trying to uh, you know deal with this open relationship situation it could be um, this is just new for some of you but you're you're walking away from this because you feel as if the other person is not being very honest is that you have an open relationship but um, and you know it's okay for you guys to see other people but it's as if they're living with someone and wants to have an open relationship with you no but that's just not an open relationship is that you're living with someone 
you know you are already in a relationship so you can't have an open relationship so this is definitely playing and affecting some of you and you're gonna be thinking bye really I you know and I would agree with you all right let's look at the mature women you mature women are really thinking about the kids it's as you know you want to have friendship bonds with people that you can sometimes take the night out and you know you're right doing this because the people who are coming up I'm um, seeing some of you and there is a lady out there you have kids and you're seeing someone keep them away from your kids okay you have been seeing a lot of people but there's especially one that is really funny with your kids keep them away from your kids okay do not go in a relationship with this man do not move him in your house you know who you are you feel it too and you find it very strange that he's always playing with the girls I have nothing more to say for a personalized reading contact me um some of you men mature men are looking for the right person some of you mature men are definitely looking for the right person it's as if you want that person you want to meet that person um it's as if you are on that part where it's time to meet that person and what i'm saying here is that um you could be meeting a taurus virgo or a capricorn if you're a lady relationship is not gonna work out with this guy because you don't want kids you're not ready for kids and he's pushing you towards this or he's gonna do something and you're gonna think hell no don't do that you know and as, as someone who is very very know who you are send your ground and this person is gonna be connecting with you but it's like he wants a family he wants to start a family with you and that's not where you are at this moment and you know I guess you like him but it's it's like I don't know it's it's not what I'm looking for I, this man keep on coming up in the reverse and it is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn so be aware of this so, some of you are going to be having and making some real strong friendship bonds and let's see with who um, your intuition um, your intuition about a friendship or a friendship bond could be right on target for some of you okay so if you have an intuition in clink about you know there's someone who you see but you they just want to be friends with you they don't want to be in a relationship with you okay some of you that are very very good friends with someone extremely good and sometimes you think oh my god it's as if this person and I are in a relationship it's gonna become a relationship BAM <laughs> I am loving this uh, some of you definitely new love is coming in um, definitely and some of you it is a friendship it's as if you you were friends with this person in college high school or something like that and then you cross parts uh-huh 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 okay who is dealing with the Aquarius Gemini and Libra it's not going to be working out this person is looking for a new relationship um definitely this is someone who is a lawyer she's definitely it's not gonna be working out because she's looking um for a new relationship it's as if she's thinking let me find someone in my own field or that sort of a thing so if you were in a relationship with a lawyer or someone who is a police she is going to uh, it's, it's not even a police could be a doctor or something she could be just saying no um, I don't have any time or no um, I'm not gonna go forward with this relationship and um, and, 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 and you know it's as if she's thinking mm, yeah sweet but just to eat 
I don't see myself, I can't do it because there's so much going on around me. That sort of an energy that is going to be coming up for um with um you guys, okay? So um whatever is transpiring, you need to give yourself because it's like you're seeing this person, this person is in a legal profession and that sort of thing and they're always busy and then by the time they they just need to have time for themselves and this is where you know the situation is going to be coming in whether or not you know it's going to work out young females definitely marriage is coming up for the young female so some of you could be asked to end up married and for the young female who are in marriage let's see some of you could be asked the ends of marriage in the last week coming up in the last week some of you could be asked the ends of marriage what else is coming up for the young females and now definitely some of you are dating someone and you're definitely going to be asking you the ends of marriage definitely it's, it's as if you have been dating for quite some time and they are going to be asking you to move in and let's get married and i think that that was what you have always always wanted so the you you know your spirit guides are saying say yes to the ring say yes to the dress say yes to moving in together so this is such a beautiful reading okay guys really let me know how this is um working out for you guys um this is a really beautiful reading and um go check out the on demand monthly reading cross watch cross watch for your partner for the people you're seeing for your girlfriends and the friends around you cross watch these love readings because what is happening is that there are situations that is coming up that could help you and your friends and you could be aware of something that your friend is not really aware of about their relationship and that sort of a thing on um download the on demand is just a dollar 99 so this is going to be good namaste